All right, Impala LFX routine. And quickly, uh, I want before I do this video, I want to say a big thank you for Chris. Chris provide me information um, uh, analysis from the OEM Toyota and Pennzoil Zero W16. Um, so what I did, I did a grid, and uh, so we could compare the Toyota Mobile One and Zoil and Pennzoil. So I'm just quickly going to go down the list here. Uh, if you look um, for the metals and the con contaminants, it's pretty equal. Uh, it's almost zero everywhere, except for Toyota has a little bit of a, uh, has four parts per million of aluminum and uh, 10, uh, only mobile one, Amsoil has it. And Amsoil has a little lead in it, but the rest is all zero. Uh, other type of contaminants, you see uh, silicone, which is not that bad, uh, not a very bad contaminant, it's just silicone. Uh, you could see Toyota has a little bit more than the others. And uh, sodium, uh, pretty low, uh, mobile is four, Pennzoil is zero, and potassium is at three for mobile one and three for Pennzoil. Uh, before I go down the list, um, Oh, the OEM Toyota oil is made by Exxon Mobile, which is makes the mobile one. Even if it's made by the same company, uh, it's not the same recipe. Uh, just by the numbers, you could see. So um, the multi-source metal, um, except for Pennzoil, uh, nobody has titanium. Only one a, a, a Pennzoil has one ppm. Uh, Antimony, it's the first time of all the tests I did, I see a number one. It Pennzoil has it. Uh, I cannot tell you if it's good or bad. Uh, Molly B, Molybdenum. Uh, you could see Toyota uh, takes the cake on this one with 755 parts per million. Mobile One, uh, second place 81, Pennzoil. 77 and Amsoil 68. Uh, some companies use a lot, some doesn't. I cannot give you an answer for it, but it's it's a good anti-wear metal. Uh, but for sometimes uh, because of, um, how you call it, uh, cafe reasons, they have to lower the Molly B. Um, manganese, everybody at zero, same thing with lithium. Now boron, boron is a good, uh, expensive additive and uh, except for mobile one uh, the rest um, basically has double of mobile one you could see the numbers uh, with the additives magnesium uh, again um, Toyota is pretty high but mobile will take the lead on this one and Zoil with uh, the last race with 580, 582 and 6 or 9 um, and this, by the way, Pennzoil is the Pennzoil Platinum 0W16. And uh, there's another one, I think it's uh, like a nickel earth or a carbon neutral 0W16 uh, that I don't know where we could find it. Actually, uh, it's Chris who sent me those results because I did not see any 0W16 Pennzoil here uh, locally. Uh, calcium. Uh, the numbers are quite high for all of them. Uh, Toyota, again, takes the cake. Um, Toyota, very aggressive with the calcium, which is good. Barium. Uh, for those who don't know, barium is a smoke suppressor. It used to be, uh, used, to be used a lot in the diesel oils. Uh, but I think legally they're not uh, allowed to use it anymore. So barium is probably a, um, an additive that you won't see anymore in oils. Especially for gas oils. Uh, phosphorus, very good. Um, again, Toyota takes the lead on that. And Zoil second. So that's a good additive to have. And Zinc, uh, ZDDP, whatever. Toyota, again, very aggressive. And Zoil second place. And uh, then to finish it off, the Mobile and Pennzoil. So you could see there's a lot of... Um, each manufacturer has different... Um, recipes uh, if you're gonna be using mobile one my my recommendation to you it's don't do um, an extended 
a service, uh, do it before, or treat it like a, a severe uh, usage of the car, because it does fall short from uh, Toyota numbers. Uh, same thing with the others. Um, Amzor is not too bad. They have their own recipe, and it's 100% synthetic. It's not fully synthetic. So that may uh, change it a bit in favor for them. But again, you need to follow because this Amsoil, it's the OE Amsoil. It's their, uh, you know, uh, base oil because they have no boosted or no signature available on 0W16. And the CST numbers, you can see all of them. Um, Pennzoil has the lowest one. The TBN, unfortunately, I cannot have that information for mobile Amazon, but you could see Toyota very high in there. So for me, uh, it's not, it sucks, I'm okay, but I, I purchased a case of Amazon OE. I have um, already made an oil change, um, but I'll, I wanna honor the Toyota warranty. So I'm gonna go there and change the oil uh, to the manufacturer until the warranty is over. But uh, so far for now, um, I think Toyota takes the cake. And um, you yeah, know, there's a little bit more contaminants, but um, I, you know, I personally think uh, Toyota, I don't know how much the price is for a, a quart at Toyota or a gallon and a half, whatever. But uh, unless Amsoil comes with a, uh, a boosted or signature, um, Siri oil, uh, I think the 0W16 here in North America, in Europe may be different. Uh, uh, Toyota is king on the oil. Take care, bye. If you have any comments, just share it. Or you, if you have any other numbers, because I know in Euro Europe you have Riverall and uh, all kinds of companies that we don't have here that offers a lot of 0W16, please share. Um, I like to data log everything. Thank you and have a good evening. Bye.